All right, guys. Name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics. And guys, you saw the title. We are taking on the Extreme Z Awakening with a free to play team. Now, you guys know how much I talked up uh, the Ginyu Force free to play team. So that's exactly what we're going to try, right? But we're going to do it in two separate ways. Let me go ahead. Let me find me a good leader here, really quick. But what we're going to do is we're going to try the brand new Strength Gohan as well as well as go ahead and try out the new LR Ginyu on top of that. So first up is gonna be the LR Ginyu team and then we'll switch over because the cool thing about these guys is that they fit into the Namek Saga and you can run this strength Extreme Z Awakened Kid Gohan with them. So let's see what they can do. We're on level 37. Um, by the time you're watching this, this is gone and that kind of sucks, but it's just the way the scheduling worked. Uh, and hopefully I went much further beyond than just to 37 or by the time we're done with this video, we'll probably be at around 40. Uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see just how far well not how far we can get this isn't quite like a how far can we get video but uh let's let raccoon tank those up there we'll keep ginyu ginyu is such a strong character and the fact that he can't be stunned uh makes goldo a little bit weaker because goldo's stun doesn't really come in handy but raccoon's high defense and of course whenever he gets attacked he gets stronger makes him a pretty solid candidate for keeping on like a main rotation now ginyu as long as he doesn't get super attacked which it doesn't look like he's going to because raccoon is taking our super attack there ginyu is going to actually be able to defend pretty well from what i've seen um i've run this a couple times with this team it's pretty nice again this is a completely free to play team there's nothing you have to summon for these characters you literally farm them up and you'll notice that whenever we hop in with the actual um ooh, look at that we're gonna get off a uh, we're gonna have a 24 or not 24 but an 18 key um let's do let's give him that and then give are we gonna be wait can we nah we're gonna be a little short okay so since we're gonna be short on that i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take those agl orbs for that ginyu to get the tw get the 12 key why am i so set on saying 24 key i don't understand all right let's see what this team does no, not team well i said team because well it's all of them attacking. Look at the tanking that we just did from that. That is so awesome. And if he crits, yo, dude, yes, it's beautiful. Now, here's the deal. I am fully aware of the fact that these teams were, are, are like Resurrected Wars, SSA three, uh, Hybrid Saiyans to uh, the Broly. These are the, the same teams. They are more effective. But that's the cool part, guys. That's the awesome part about this. And also, they made the rewards from this Extreme Z Awakening better than the other two. By, like, a long shot. Of course, you can Extreme Z Awaken a free, completely free unit. You can then also get a ton of orbs. Um, and the others were nowhere near as good as this. So let's slide over now to... We're going to run this team. This is what I'm running. Um, I dropped the Guldo altogether for this team. Since, of course, we can only... We have to run the Gohan as the lead. And we can only run... We only have five other slots. So it's like, okay, let's drop, if I'm going to drop one, let's drop the Guldo. Uh, we'll keep it kind of rainbowed still, because we're going to replace the Guldo with an LR Ginyu. Uh, and this is probably going to be pretty gross. It's going to, it's going to get, it's going to get nasty. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's just, uh, yeah, no, let's just do that. We're going to keep him on main rotation. He does, he does good. He does good. Uh, we're about to see, we're about to see him do probably some pretty nasty stuff here. Yes, 1.8 million. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what I like to see right there. That's what I like to see right there. Yeah, it's just this this event is so much fun. I love it. You're, you're getting good rewards. You can bring in this completely free team. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, all right, let's do let's do that. Uh, I don't want to use all that key. That is so, that's so many orbs that we're just wasting. Although we may finish him here, so I guess it's really not. Yeah, never mind. We might we might actually finish him off here, so it's really not like that great big of a deal. I am gonna save all those orbs though, in case we don't, and we come back with the LR Ginyu. Uh, this is my actual Gohan. I put a lot into crit, plus 15 crit actually. <sighs> Nearly two million. All right, so Rakum. Well, Rakum hasn't been attacked, so actually Rakum doesn't have much of his passive. I'm fairly fairly confident in the fact that Ginyu is going to get get the job done here. He's not. Oh, okay. Wow. That actually that actually surprises me. Okay, we're going to we're going to let these guys finish this off. Here we go. Boom. And sure. 
the LR Ginyu to, to finish off the Vegeta. It feels a little, it feels a little fitting. Maybe, maybe just, maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. All right. How much damage are we doing here? 110, no, not 110. 1.1 million, 1.1 million. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I, if you can't tell, I like this a lot. Now we're on stage 39, we're running back the Namek Saga team. I call it the Kid Gohan team, but this is actually the, the Namekian Saga team. Um, that, again, and I know I've said it a ton, I just like to express this so much. And as someone who is pay to play, um, who spends a fair amount of money on this game, like, I just like, I, I even I personally still really enjoy running these teams that are free, that are completely free. I didn't have to spend a dime on that LR, I didn't have to spend a dime on any of these characters that I'm running, and it feels good. It feels good to be able to sit here and beat an Extremely Awakened um, event with a team that I didn't have to spend any money on. Um, you know, I, I, well, okay. I ended up spending maybe a little bit just because of the way I had to play the game. If you had all day to play the game to farm those characters, you could probably get them done pretty easily, but I had to refresh, I think, twice on about each character. So two two Dragon Stones. But uh, that was just because I had like a small set of time that I needed to play. And so I had to refresh there. But outside of that, they are completely free. And they do come back each week, so it's not like you have to get them done the day that they're live. I mean, if you really want them that week, you want, to, you want them super, super bad, then you can obviously go for it, but you don't have to. That's that's the cool thing, is they do come back. Now, as I've mentioned before in a video, I really hope that they run with this idea. They do, a lot of you guys brought up something that I didn't even think of, but I, but a Bardock team. I hope they do a Bardock team, I hope they do a Z Fighters, I hope they do a Dragon Ball Saga team, um, I hope they do maybe Pride Troopers. Pride Troopers might be a little bit too much, because I feel like they're going to make a very, very premium card out of Jiren. I am actually, at this point, almost expecting an LR Jiren. I really am, and I feel like a lot of people are too. I, I, I feel like at this point, LR Jiren is just like almost to be expected. This team is so stupid. Again, I fully, I fully understand. I fully understand that um, th these are the teams that were designed to beat this event. I am completely aware of that, but I just. I just love expressing the fact that they are that good. We got 145 medium strength orbs. Again, it's just, it's so, it's so, it's so much fun. Wait, are those small orbs or? I think those actually might've been small, but I don't care either way. I'm getting friggin' orbs for the attribute system. Let's hop into level 40. We're hopping into level 40 and we do have our LR Ginyu team back at it. I'm very excited to, unfortunately this Extreme Z Awakening will be gone by then, but I am very excited for Battlefield 2.0 to drop and to finally be able to get the physical LR Ginyu and try him out on this team as well. As a lot of you guys pointed out, he does he does have a different name because this Ginyu has Goku in the name, so he can be ran on the same team, which is just awesome. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep, I'm actually gonna keep Jace this time around. Uh, ugh. Man, that kinda sucks. Oh well, we'll take that right there. We were so close. We were so friggin' close. Literally two, no, one key away. One key away from having his 18 key, but that, that's fine. Jace is probably gonna do some major damage here. Yes, nearly a million damage from Jace. Of course, he has type advantage. Uh, almost doing 700,000, not even doing his 18 key plus, not actually doing his like ultimate attack. That is boss. Uh, and yo, we defended that for 5,000? I'm. Actually, color me impressed on that. Um, we'll let Ginyu, we'll like not Ginyu, but Raccoon defend. Um, I really hope I haven't said something something stupid. Now I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm like, have I called Raccoon Ginyu and Ginyu Raccoon in this video at some point in time? Because if I had, ugh. uh, all right. So we just we just blocked that for single digits. How much we're gonna block? Go go into this team with like a. Like a fusion team, and he will do like between 90 and 110,000 with one of his super attacks. Mm. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty glorious being able to block for that much. Let's see if uh, let's see if Burter can let's see if Burter can dodge. Let's let's live life on the edge a little bit right now. What do you guys think? Let, live life on the edge. Uh, and we're getting off the 18 key plus. All right, sweet Burter dodge. Okay, fine. He didn't dodge or evade, but that's fine. We're probably gonna win here. I don't see him surviving an attack from Jace and from the Ginyu. Now he has about, 
What about a million health left? 750,000 is like a million health left. I don't see him surviving this. Oh. Yeah, he had he had he had a little over a million health left, so never mind. He did survive that. Okay. Uh, let's put you up front. Let you link with Ginyu, and that should be GG on that. I want to run it back one more time. We'll go we'll go right past we'll go right past level 40. We'll get into 41 and and I think that'll be a good time to wrap up the video. We're free free to play, man. Rocking and rolling here on this easy A. It's beautiful. All right, there's our million damage. There's our million damage. That was that was my Ginyu at SA20, so that probably makes a bit of a difference. SA20 with 50 something percent in the orb system, as much as we can right now without having any duplicates of them. Yo, and we got an AGL Grand Kai. I'll take it, as well as some orbs. Level 41 with the Ginyu Force. This is this gonna be your last one. Also, I'm a, I probably should have known that the AGL Grand Kai was a part of that. I never did look up all the rewards for every single level, and again. Even with me filming this before it goes away, I probably should have already been, you know, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit farther through this than I am. But uh, I feel like, I feel like I have a decent reason to to not be completely all the way through this easy A or, or in the higher levels of this easy A. But anyway, guys, while we're watching the last little bit, this last level, if you are new to the channel, and you haven't done so yet, consider going down there, subscribing, joining. Hashtag NanoFam today. Consider slapping a like on today's video because we just tanked that for double digits. And let's see what Guldo did. Almost 500k. I'm, I'm proud of Guldo. Again, Extremes Awakening, you can't use items. So we can't heal here or anything like that. So if we get kind of low, it's just going to be pretty much be GG. Well, I wouldn't call it GG, but uh, da, 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 da. let's do that. Let's do this. And that right there is an 18 key with my friend Ginyu. I don't know what SA this Ginyu is. So I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but what I do know is Raccoon is tanking all those hits for double digits, which is what I like to see. All right. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Uh, Jay's doing probably about what? Another 900K? Oh, a 1 point almost 4 million. Okay, I'll take that. These guys, I don't know. Again, I don't know what SA they are. Um, I would say probably SA, hang on, let's look. I would say close to SA20, if not SA20. The guess? SA20. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, let's go throw them up front. We're going to get off the 18 key plus. I think I just said 24 key moments ago. But for some... I don't know why. I'm like so fascinated with 24 key right now. I'm making sure I'm getting off 24 key supers. But that's not what's happening. Because I don't think I've gotten off a single 24 key in this video. Here we go. We're going to finish... Yep. Almost a million damage from the LR Goku Ginyu Force. Anyways, guys, there you go. That is free to play versus Extreme Z Awakening. If you enjoyed the video, consider slapping a like. As I just said moments ago, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Otherwise, guys, there you go. I'm very excited for this to drop on Global soon. Um, this free stuff and this EZA will probably come around the three-year anniversary like it did uh, for the JP version. But anyways, guys, that is today's video. Have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on Nanogenic signing off. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.